Okay. Oh no, oh no, are you opening that? If you break those blinds, then I did it. I swear to God, if you break my blinds. No! Why are you like this? Get up. No! I've stolen Diane's kisses. So good morning, day two of a club that we're attending. This is my dog. Today we have the sketch. We have a little boy. We have a sneaky girl down there. Stop it. My face is saturated in your saliva. Stop. Oh, you moved. You were sitting weird. Oh, you're kind of moving again. Look at these two little chicken legs. Stop looking at me. Chicken legs is very mute. That's all right. Oh, hello. Can I eat that, that chicken leg? No, that's Kevin's chicken leg. Look. A spiled Ed boy on a Jonathan. Somehow his ponytail came out longer. Is that your boyfriend? Calvin, is that your boyfriend? Oh, yes. Kevin! What? Retard. You're a liar and a deceiver. I this see is it. why they took your arm. Ooh. Didn't take it yet. Diane and I are mostly in cosplay. Yeah. I'm just putting finishing touches on this makeup. Mm, it'd be really nice to this makeup. Friends who put on 3DMG together stay together. <laughs> this is my You know, life. that's not necessarily <laughs> true because I've definitely put 3DMG on people that have not. Yeah, I put them on my ex once. <laughs> Same! <laughs> tea! <Wow. laughs> this is just gonna be the tea wig. Tea. This is the wig that Rachel this wore as Thor and was like, it's true. Tea. <laughs> Tea. That was Ed's that wig. Have <laughs> you ever felt more oh, lied to in your life than just right now? I have so many like blonde wigs. I just assumed it was some random one out of the closet. No, but it's Ed. Oh. Tea. God. Levi's been Levi. But can you do the splits in this? We did just throw. There he goes. Everybody else might be in full cosplay, but I'm still shirtless. <laughs> Ed felt broke. Levi's fixing it. Best seamstress in the scouting corps. Look at that portal. I'm about to. <laughs> Belt fixed, arm ready. It's time to go. Rachel's done. So is Levi. Okay. On our way to Acon. This car is hot. All right, Acon. After an Uber drive from a Walmart, we are in you. Child. This is how I feel inside of my clothes. My eyes are killing me. And Deku's like now a pro hero. Because he brought a little fan. A little fan. Just for you. Thanks. Oh, my eyes. I look dead. God, I look like shit. Little Ed, big loss. My eyes are still messed up because of those stupid raven contacts yesterday. But I don't know where my friends went. Maybe we'll find them. I still haven't found my friends and I really need caffeine. I found my friends. And my see, eyes my still friends. hurt. <laughs> oh, look at these eyes. Mm. Mustangs in the women's clothing. Panty raids. Creepy Mustang. I'm just looking at dresses. Rachel. Rachel. She's in the bathroom. She's taking forever. We're so poor. Rachel -ing. You've heard of caroling, now get ready for it. Rachel -ing. Rachel -ing. I found refuge in the sense of people with eye drops. Thank you guys. And then this one also is eye drops. And then diapers. Diapers. I'm gonna grape you. I'm gonna tie you to a radiator and grape you. Come here, kids! I'm gonna die in the radiator and break me up! Okay. Alright, we're assembling the squad. And Levi's dying. I have a lemon chill though. Rehearsing, eyes are still holding up. This one's just. It's your. It's your uh, that eye is more red. That one's fine. I injured our uh, leader by punching her in the <laughs> thumb. Wait. Blood was spewing everywhere. There was blood. There was blood everywhere. It was great. She's got a vibrator in her hand. <laughs> We're in the 
contest area. My arm has break, broken, but we've put it back together. And like my eyes are getting better, but this one's still, my right eye will, my left eye will forever be screwed today, so. Okay. Don't make me throw the ball again. There's so much going on here. Kiss, 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 kiss. Kiss, it's my new favorite ship. Kiss, 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 Shake nipple! Wait, wait, wait. I'm a baby. <laughs> it's a butt. Oh, <laughs> wow, that's cute. Look at all these chickens. I took my contacts out and it still feels bad. There's my eyeballs. My eyes are still dying. Hope we're gonna get some food. And I'm thirsty. I haven't drank all day. Because you wouldn't take the water they gave me. I did not. I'm stupid. Yeah, every time I tried to give you water, you were like, yeah. And I was like, why Because I was upset because my eyes are in. I was like, I don't want to think about drinking. I don't want to drink water, which would help. Your eyes, probably? No. Oh, wow. Uh, Maybe you're dehydrated. Oh, wow. Maybe you're dehydrated. No. 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 Um, but I feel bad to like almost anyone that said hi to us because I was just dying. I was like, hi. I want to die. There's some great sunglasses pictures of Mickey yes, out there. Yes, I love just the high. Just like, I'm here. I'm here. Are you hungover, Edward Albert? No. Yes. No, But yeah, I'm gonna get some eye drops and get some food and go to sleep. Okay, so I've never done this for a con before, but I wanted to do like a thing where I take off my seatbelt because I did not just come back from the grocery store. Talk about the con itself without it being a vlog at the con. There was like a lot of controversy around a con this year, mostly because of the changing venue. Last year was such a dud because it was literally line con for a lot of people and also pretty divided on people saying they really like the venue on Fort Worth versus people that were like, I really don't like the venue in Fort Worth. Last year was pretty much on the side of I do not like the venue. I was a huge fan of the Anatole, even though a lot of people were not. Not. I thought the Anatole was like a really good location for this con even though it was getting like more packed and more crowded but it never felt like it was too crowded to where the con could not function however that is my opinion and experience as a con goer not like a con staff or anyone like that I don't have any experience running cons nor am I gonna pretend that I do this is just purely how I feel and how like I viewed the situation as a attendee and last year that was like my biggest issue I really didn't like the venue the stuff was way too spread out between all the hotels even like I never really go to cons to go to like panels or anything like that unless there's someone specific I want to see but if I was one of those people that con would have sucked going to because it was so hard to get to any like panels or really know where anything was my other biggest issue was it was really hot it's Texas it gets really hot here a lot of it was outside and a lot of it involved a lot of walking around and I'm usually, I'm fine with walking around a con I like to walk around cons but when it's hot in the middle of summer in Texas it is not fun to walk around in especially for someone like me who has trouble controlling their body temperature because I have endocrine issues hi hotels around there there was hotels to stay at there was parking that was pretty like convenient and available there was food between like the food trucks and then further on down in like a plaza sort of downtown area. There was a lot of restaurants and stuff to choose from. So there was like stuff to do. There was interesting photo shoot opportunities with the water garden.
gardens, etc., etc. It wasn't my favorite con. Pretty much came to the conclusion that this year I'd go for like maybe a day or two, buy a hotel downtown, more or less mess around in the hotel and have fun with my friends, and then dip down at the con later in the evening when it wasn't so hot outside and enjoy the con more or less in the evening hours. But that was not the case. It got moved to the fair park in Dallas. Immediately every everyone was like, that's gonna be a bad idea. That's going to be too hot. That is not a good venue. And it really wasn't, in all honesty. I think it would have been fine, or at least better and more well received if it was held in a cooler time of the year. It just wasn't that great of a time because so much of it was outside. My contacts were messing up and my eyes are still pretty like messed up from those stupid contacts. Being out outside really messed up the contacts even more. And if it was inside, I would have had less of an issue dealing with it, but that's not the cons fault. That's just a me thing. Didn't seem very well prepared. There was literally like, printed out pieces of paper with the with the, the Acon logo around places and I'm like really there's not even there weren't very many like official banners like it was really hard to figure out like what was what there was a bag check that looked pretty ratchet it was just some chain link fence and some guards some of them were you know chill and were like yeah you can bring in food and drink which at the fair you can bring in food and drink and for the most part fair park allows you to bring in food and drink from what i've been told i've never really tried to bring in food or drink to fair park and apparently some of them were like yeah you know bring whatever you want it's whatever and some of them were like i don't even care if it's a medical issue you can't bring food or drink in here which has never been an issue at any cons that i know of. It was way 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 too hot, way too much outside. Um, that wasn't, that didn't offer a lot of covered areas. Uh, food availability was really bad and overpriced because it was all food trucks. And I don't mind food trucks. I honestly think food trucks are like a really great option for cons. But when that's literally all you have to pick from and most of the meals started around seven dollars uh, and then you have to add on like a drink on top of that, like a lot of water was really expensive. Some water places were either giving out free water or selling water bottles for a dollar because it's Texas and we're all poor weebs, so give us a dollar water. The space itself was just kind of funkily laid out. I didn't really like it that much. It was hard to find a lot of stuff. You had like a cosplay changing room, which was really odd because they didn't have any hotels nearby. And I think they could have made it a lot better and been more like vocal and open about where stuff was. And the signage was really bad and it was just not the greatest experience as far as like a con itself goes. The dealer's room, Artist Alley, was one of the most crowded ones I've ever been in. Like, it was ridiculous. They easily could have had just Artist Alley in one building and then dealer's room in another building. There was no cool little expose sort of things where it's like sword fight your friend or some funky little like photo shoot photography area. Like, it was just really not that great there wasn't that much to do the panel situation was awful all they had was dividers like my i know some people that hosted panels and they were like all you had was a curtain between you and someone else and there could be a hentai panel going on right next door to your like how to make foam armor panel and you can hear everything that's going on in the hentai panel and if there was like a viewing the viewings were also happening that way so if you're gonna watch like the premiere of like my hero academia but then you're also there for like a fan fiction panel you're gonna hear both of those going on at the same time and you're pretty much yelling over each other trying to figure like trying to like give your panel a presentation so i was kind of glad i didn't do a panel. The cosplay contest, this was the first year that I've ever done a cosplay contest or performed in one. My experience with that was very positive. It was pretty well organized, gave very clear, concise instructions, which was great. All the cosplayers and stuff backstage were phenomenal. They were like, the community was really nice. The um, staff was really nice. They were really on top of it and making sure that, you know, we knew what was going on and they kept us like in order and kept the whole thing flowing as efficiently as possible which was really great like I had really no complaints about that aside from the fact that like literally right when we got on stage the like a really big storm blew in they're like hey we have to bring people inside because it's about to severely thunderstorm and you guys can't rehearse because we have to bring people in and we're like oh, okay but they were chill and let us like rehearse as much as we wanted backstage so just sucked that we couldn't perform it on stage for the first time but it was also cool being able to see everybody's stuff for the first time as it was happening so that was about 
my main like complaints and stuff like that. I know a lot of people are like really ragging on this con and really like tearing it to shreds. And like at the end of the day, I don't really go to cons for like the venues and stuff like that. I go there to see you guys and I go there to see my friends. And I saw so many of you guys at this con. I know I haven't been very good at announcing what cons I'm going to. You know, this one was kind of like impromptu and I saw a lot of you guys which really like made the con for me. I mean, I think that the con could have been better planned and better laid out, but I know they were really like rushing. I heard rumors that it, this is the last Akon. I personally hope that's not true. I have a lot of like emotional attachment to Akon in the sense of like that's where Rachel and I said I love you for the first time. So like we personally would like to keep it there we at this con were like oh happy I love you anniversary. We were there on Saturday as Roy and Ed um saying I love you again as Ryan Ed so that was really fun and really cheesy and really cute and I was just like side things so, and Acon 31 just may not happen so I personally hope it does I think it's really just down to like finding a better venue I just think wherever you have it you need to take it into consideration of like food and lodging also it just sucks whenever like if you know like with my contact thing I couldn't just go up into my hotel room and change my contacts because I probably should have not been in colored contacts um, all that day. I should have switched into my normal contacts or given my eyes a break and put in my glasses for a bit. But I couldn't because, I mean, I didn't bring the stuff with me, which was, you know, also on me. But, like, I'm one of those people that really isn't, like, lugging around a lot of stuff around a con. Like, I will stuff my pockets full of whatever I need and pack as lightly as possible because I just don't want to hassle with stuff at a con. Um, so not being able to dip up into a hotel room really sucked. Um, but that was kind of like the issue for me last year but there were hotel options there were hotel rooms to duck into if you wanted to because you could get a hotel room next to the con but um all in all really like i had so much fun performing in the contest which that will be on the channel whenever we get the footage i'm gonna edit it together for everyone our next con will be a fest dallas we will be at a fest all of the days so i'll be scheduling like a meetup um probably on saturday um, and then if we have any panels, if we get like our panel, we've already been to Clyde for our fan fiction panel or my hero fan fiction panel, I'm so sad. If we have any panels, we'll be doing like a little mini meetup at the end of those panels, like somewhere around the panel room. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks so much for watching these vlogs. Sorry this ending thing has been so super long, but I just wanted to give like the real tea on the whole situation as well as do a little bit of a con announcement. So. Thank you guys so much for saying hi. Hope to say hi to you guys at the at A Fest and bye.